my favorite time of year is finally here. It's the fall hunting season and we're kicking it off in elk country. Having a great summer of scouting with some big bulls on camera and after last year's success, we're really hoping to keep the streak alive. So here we go, come along for the ride. What an absolute incredible encounter this early on in the hunt. We're gonna keep persistent and hope to be a bit closer for next time. Well, the elk are just fighting behind this bush. They're all going hard at it. Cows are mewing. I think our best chance is getting to this buck brush. Man, it's hard to recover from an absolute heartbreaker like that, but with seasons changing and the rut kicking into full gear, we're gonna keep at it and hope for some redemption. Unbelievable. My name is Mitchell Payment. I started tagging along with my dad to go hunting basically since I learned to walk. I grew up living the outdoor lifestyle, learning from my dad and any hunting video I could get my hands on as a kid. It became evident it wasn't only a lifestyle, but it was also my biggest passion in life. Nice shooting, buddy. Welcome to season six of Moment of Truth TV. my dreams. After all these years and the amazing experiences with loved ones, I've never been more thankful to be a hunter. Enjoy the show. Well, she's an overcast beginning of August day. Super excited. We're heading to elk country. Haven't been here since last year and we had great luck actually. After a four or five year quest, it took two mornings in this spot and I, had, I got my first ever bull elk. He was just a two by two, but to me, he was a huge trophy. So the goal is this year to renew permission, get some new permission, spread our wings a little bit and give ourselves the best chance at another elk. We've got a reveal cell camera set up and hopefully there's some good sign, but we're en route, should be a good day. Well, we just acquired our permission again where I got my bull out last year. I'm so happy the farmer was kind enough to let us come back here, but let's go for a little walk and check her out. Well, right here, Elk Highway, just like last year, they funnel right through these trees and through the alfalfa and eat along the way. There's a lot of scat and uh, it's looking good, kind of like last year. So we'll get this reveal cell cam set up just kind of up trail here, um, kind of where some trails converge. There's a million rubs on the whole bush line from last year. I'm sure they're gonna get fired up here in the next 10 days or so. They'll start sh shedding their velvet and start rubbing. So and we haven't even walked that far and we're already seeing good signs. So it's looking awesome. With our spot looking great and having fantastic sign on the forefront, as the summer months progressed, the excitement began to build as the reveal cell cam provide us with some fantastic pictures and information showing a good number of elk, including some big bulls coming through, mostly in the morning with the odd evening appearance. With poor weather and winds around home and the reveal showing some consistency, for the first time ever we decide to kick off the fall hunting season in elk country. After arriving to our good friend Mark's, we enjoyed the night catching up and watching some unreleased episodes where Mark had joined us in, before admiring some of his monster bulls and dreaming big before the season opener tomorrow morning. Moment of Truth TV is brought to you by RV City, generations of family fun. Old Smokes Coffee, coffee for the courageous. iHunter app, know your rags inside and out. Black Widow Deer Lures, number one whitetail estrus and deer scents. Tacticam, share your hunt. Sights and Arms, your firearm specialists. Prime Archery, the most accurate bows on the planet. 
and by Huntworth Gear when concealment matters the most. Well, she's opening day. I can't believe it. I'm so excited. We're just uh, pulling up to our spot now. The northern lights are dancing. It's a cool, crisp morning and there's a nice dew. I think it's shaping up to be a great morning. We've seen a nice bull driving on, on the road on the way in, so we're gonna slip in. It's well over an hour before shooting light. Hope we can catch the herd going back to bed. Stay tuned, she could be an exciting morning. Walking in in the pitch black with a blanket of stars and northern lights over our heads put a huge smile on my face. Getting settled in a little over an hour before shooting light and already hearing distant bugles in the bedding area wasn't ideal. As daylight was breaking, all that was in the field was a few deer, including a cool looking beautiful doe with some white running up her side. And unfortunately, no elk made an appearance. Well, not quite the first morning we wanted. It's real slow, we didn't even see an elk. Unfortunately, I thought we might too. But an hour before shooting light, we heard distant bugles way into the bedding already, so I think they had already bypassed us. But all we can hope for now is tonight we get a little better action. Using our iHunter app, we were able to locate a large bush area that might be a viable spot for an evening hunt. With water being scarce this year, we picked what we believe to be an ideal dugout to catch an elk coming for a drink before going out to feed for the evening. After making a call to the leaseholder and getting the go ahead it was time to head in after sitting for a few hours in the rain we heard some commotion down at the water that got my heart pounding That about wrapped our evening up as the only other animal to make an appearance was a young muley doe. We're back at it for morning number two. We're gonna head in in the dark again and uh, pray for an elk. It's windy this morning and gloomy and rainy, so I don't know what's gonna happen. We don't know until you try, let's get in there. Despite the strong winds this morning, a bugle was let out on the other side of the field, putting us in between him and the bedding. With excitement through the roof, I caught a huge rack coming up over the hill. With this beautiful bull looking to go a little wide, I let out some cow chirps to try to swing him over a little closer. With this gorgeous bull responding with a little bit of interest, I spotted a second big rack coming up behind him. With the bulls going into a dip and lots of wind noise, we try to make our move on them. Oh my gosh, guys. Two huge sixes just rolled through the field. We just couldn't make it happen. We're sitting on this corner because the west wind and sure enough they go through right where they always want to but if we weren't in our spot if we were in our buck brush it would have been a slam dunk but i don't know what to say we should have probably just gambled with it i could have shot this one too if this one didn't spook but this one spooked and the one was right in the dip here then they jumped on to where we can't hunt but that's pretty cool i've never even yeah. experienced anything like that but unbelievable I thought we were hooped with this wind, they would went to bed early, but sure enough, they, here they came. That's another chapter in the elk story. I think we're just gonna settle back in and see what else comes, probably nothing, but man, was that cool. Unbelievable. Well, we just got back to the truck and what an incredible morning. We're gonna head on home now and chase whitetail and waterfowl, but I can't wait to get back during the elk rut and chase these elusive critters again. 
After heading home and getting a few good waterfowl shoots in with family, mixed in with some great whitetail sets with some close encounters, I couldn't help but have elk on my mind and after four short days we were on our way back to elk country hoping we could get a little closer than last time and be able to seal the deal. Well it's September the 6th and we're here for round two. There's lots of fresh sign and we just slipped into the corner of the alfalfa field. Man, it feels great to be back. Fingers are crossed we can make something happen this trip. Well, that's a wrap for tonight. We just got out and man, conditions I felt were really good. It was calm and just real still and the deer were coming out. And usually when we see deer, the animals are up on their feet and elk usually make it to us. But once again, nothing tonight. Maybe tomorrow morning they'll come out and come back right, right for us. Gonna slip in there tomorrow morning and hope for the best. Well, it's the first morning. We just slipped in here and we're covered up in elk. I just got sent a picture of a big bull on the reveal. There's cows mewing, there's bulls fighting. The herd's here, this could get exciting. Well, the elk are just fighting behind this bush. I think our best chance is getting to this buck brush. I think they're gonna go through the draw, so we gotta get there quickly before they come. Him, I think. I think I just stroked him, Dad. I just stroked a nice ball at 65 yards. Oh my God. Oh my God. That was the most amazing experience of my life. But I think I stroked him. I'm not sure. And I just can't wait to review this footage to see where that shot hit and pray it's good. Well, it's day two and we're still looking for this bull. Yesterday we tracked for 78 hours on our hands and knees. The beginning there was great blood found my arrow and that hole clawed it up quick and we didn't think he was going to go very far we originally thought it was a great shot and i got very excited and then uh, once we started trailing them it just goes a downward spiral we lost blood we started grid searching a bush bumped him from his bed but then we tracked him about half a mile hands and knees very little blood watch the video hundreds of times i don't quite know what happened i think he, he definitely ducked a little just before that arrow got there oh I don't know what to say, but we got to do our due diligence and see, see what happens here. As our search continued, only producing a few more specks of blood, after another full day, absolute heartbreak set in. Well, this is what we're dealing with. We're about half a mile in, and it's just a drop of blood here and there. Unfortunately, I think we're, we're pretty much done. We've done all we could. We've tracked and we've lost blood and kind of hit a dead end. And, it's the last thing I want to do, but we put a lot of time and effort into tracking this animal. From what I can see, he might be fine, and we might be able to see him later on in the season. So we're going to give it uh, a good, good break. Um, a friend of ours is going to check for birds in here. But other than that, we'll be probably back later in the year and try our luck again. After taking a break from elk hunting for a few weeks, with seasons changing, temperatures dropping, and the rut picking up, it was time to get back after these amazing animals. If there's anything I've learned about success while hunting, when things aren't going your way, persistence is proven to be deadly. We continued to hunt hard morning and night, gunning for some redemption, grinding it out and having some great encounters with elk in the mornings, unfortunately almost all within darkness or before legal shooting light. One foggy morning with temps dropping to 10 below, after a few whitetail bucks came by, the herd of elk was to follow. With my heart pounding out of my chest, the first elk to come through was a spike, with the big bull coming down the ridge. Our luck took a turn for the worse as the spike spooked taking the herd with him, after the calm wind did a total 180 and switched right in their direction. 
Coming up on almost a month chasing elk, we knew we had to make something happen sooner than later. We went and checked on a spot that we hadn't hunted in a few years, and sure enough, the sign was fantastic. All the amazing trails were heading to a major feed source, and after setting up a couple man-made blinds, we couldn't wait to slip in the following morning, hoping the action matched the sign. Moment of Truth TV is brought to you by Revolution Armory, Canada's best custom shotguns. G5 Outdoors, designed to hunt. Burris Optics, find what matters. Reveal cellular cameras, always on the hunt. Victory Archery, the carbon arrow experts. Score Ammunition, proudly Canadian. And by Tween Lake Feed Solutions, quality wildlife feed. Well, it's October 12th and our 20th day of chasing elk and I'm really hoping this new spot can give us the break we need. We're gonna do our long walk in, slip in the back and uh, hopefully they read the script and we get a release scenario this morning. Making our way into the blind with a blanket of stars overhead, we could hear an absolute rut fest coming our way that just kept getting louder and louder. My heart was pounding out of my chest and goosebumps all over. With the sun starting to light up the horizon, we could see some elk already moving through and it sounded like there was a hundred yet to come. With the deepest, strongest bugle, and the one herding the most amount of cows yet to come, we were hoping he'd come our way. I don't really have words to describe the morning. I think uh, the footage will speak for itself. Man, we've been hunting elk for five, six years, and uh, that's what we always dreamed of right there, getting in the herd. We gotta stay till tomorrow morning now, because we got these bulls, I think, figured out in these elk. Unbelievable morning, bittersweet, didn't get a release an arrow, but what an experience. The next morning came, and I don't think I've ever been more excited to hit the field. But well, we just arrived to location. We're gonna get ready and head in. Hopefully they're in the field and come right through. Upon getting into the blind, once again there was bugles roaring out in the field and it didn't take long before the first bull was coming right by. He was shortly followed by another 5x5 five five bull. Unfortunately, they were a little early beating shooting light, but with another bull bugling behind them, we still had a chance. And sure enough, this fired up bull came screaming over the hill. He's going down. He's going down. 
She's got a giant! <laughs> Dad, we did it. We did it. Uh, uh, this was probably one of our last mornings time. We put in so much work for an elk this year. It's just incredible. And that was the coolest thing ever. I'm a firm believer, guys, in life no matter what. Everything happens for a reason. That first elk this year, we had misfortune. And so much has come from that. I just, I don't even know what to say. That was absolutely, truly amazing. Mitchell. Put it here, Dad. We worked so hard. I can't even believe it right now. I feel so blessed. That was, oh, I love this country. Like, this area is so beautiful. Walking in, seeing shooting stars, northern lights, sitting there, listening to them bugle all morning. And it's just amazing. We've got to witness some amazing things. Got to thank Mark, he's helped us with tips and tricks and how to get these guys. And uh, my girlfriend Kaylin for that. I've been hunting for two <laughs> months straight now. There's a lot to be thankful for this morning. We got it. <laughs> well, everyone, this is a dream come true. He's a giant and he's down right here in the field. They're just such an amazing animal. Holy smokes. Oh, first time laying my hands on him. Oh, <laughs> just a beauty. Oh, thanks, big guy. Well, everyone, here's my 2021 Dream Bull Elk. I'm just speechless. It's just been an incredible morning, but we could hear these guys bugling out in the field. I let out some cow chirps, and boom, a bugle right back. Next thing you know, he was coming over the hill, screaming at us, and he was just so beautiful coming across that field. And uh, I was able to put one right into his heart and lungs. He didn't go 80 yards. So I can't thank my dad enough. He stuck with me through it all. And um, I wouldn't have this bull without him. But overall, it's just been an amazing hunt. Oh, thanks for coming along on this hunt. Absolutely speechless. So glad you guys were able to witness this, this whole hunt with me. And uh, I hope you tune in to another episode of Moment of Truth TV because man oh man, this is one I will never ever forget. Feel good, Mitch? Oh. No words. No words to describe. <laughs> so sorry. Closed captioning is brought to you by Burr's Optics. Find what matters.